Good morning, my name's Ryan Littlestone from forexflow.live. Uh, another update on Brexit, the ongoing <laughs> long saga of Brexit continues to roll on. Uh, so where we are at this stage of the game? Well, we had uh, everything pushed forward to the weekend. Uh, the vote on Boris's deal was supposed to happen. Uh, in the end, it didn't happen because this other amendment passed, the Letwin Amendment, which again introduces a whole load of different conditions uh, into the mix. It's almost been done as, a, as an insurance policy for people who want the deal to say that there's going to be uh, no deal is, is taken off the table yet again. Um, but it's also there for the Remainers and those who want to stop Brexit to be able to input some further amendments um, and reduce the risk of leaving on the 31st of October without a deal. So what in effect happened was that Boris's uh, vote didn't actually get pulled. Uh, it went through, but it was almost uh, like a foregone conclusion that the government didn't vote on it, no one voted on it, so it, it went through. Um, which means that now we're in a situation where the Speaker may decide not to put his vote up for on Tuesday for the vote again, because in, in under UK political laws and regulations, you cannot put forward a bill twice um, that's exactly the same. If there's been no changes to it, the Parliament says, well, there's been no changes, why are you putting this bill up again? So that's the, the machinations we're going under at the moment, whether this bill's going to be put forward again or whether they're going to push to have the law voted on, whether there's going to be uh, amendments put in to see whether uh, a customs union can be attached to the agreement, whether a second referendum or a confirmatory referendum can be attached to the agreement. So all we've done is kick the can from Saturday to this week, and it's still a big mess. So how's that affected the pound? Well, in, in reality, we... There was the potential for some weakness and, and a gap lower um, if it all went south uh, over the weekend. That pretty much hasn't happened. Uh, so we've had a little bit of weakness this morning, opened up a bit lower, sort of the low 129s. But throughout the day, the buyers have come back in and we've gone up and we've, we've broken 130 again. Although we haven't held above it, we're still knocking around the sort of 129.80 area. So what does that mean for the long term? Well, it means we're in this this range, um, and that's highlighted by a, a chart that I, I've been looking at and, and keeping an eye on, more of a reference point on the weeklies. Um, and that's where I've sort of banded together the potential periods and the potential outcomes for the pound over these different scenarios. So as you can see from the blue section, we're in the parliament section, as it were. Um, this is the point where Boris has got his deal. It's now being voted on. So this is a rough gauge of where the pound is likely to range while we're going through these motions. It's going to either take the vote going through and passing to kick us into this fully agreed, a fully agreed deal range, which means the pound shooting much higher, up to the 135, wherever it may go. Uh, in the meantime, if it all goes south, if it all turns south for Boris, then we're going to enter back into this sort of no deal area and we're going to be back sort of under 127, 126 and back down towards the, the lows. So these are the, the ranges I'm, I'm using as a rough guide to see where what might happen in the pound. Now, for my trading on, on I've been long, as you know, um, the pound, I've been buying it since uh, sort of the middle of September. On Friday night, I decided I'm going to take a bit of profit on that. So I cut about a fifth of the position because of the weekend risk. And if it all went south, then I was going to be in a, a bit of trouble. Or the pound was going to be in a bit of trouble. So I wanted to make sure I've got some in the bank. My stop's already at uh, 100 pips plus over my average. Um, and it's enough out the way um, that uh, it should steer clear of any major volatility. So all I'm waiting to do is see what happens the next couple of days, see where the vote goes, whether it's going to pass, whether it's going to not, whether there's going to be conditions attached. Um, and from there, we can then decide to make uh, to look at the next meaningful direction for the pound. So that's the focus for this week. Um, as I say, keep an eye on the charts. Uh, they're still very volatile. And uh, we'll see where Brexit takes us next. And uh, good luck to you.